What is the thing that differentiates perversion from flirting? A prolonged, no blinking stare. Prolonged eye contact. And licking their lips to make you feel more comfortable. Flirting is showing interest and seeing if you get any back. Perversion is when you don't get any back and won't stop escalating your own interest. So on the first go both are same. It's the feedback which decides it. Yes, if it's subtle. If it's not subtle, it can be way pervy from the start. Dick pics generally aren't flirting. Neither is staring at someone while moaning and touching yourself. Always pervy. So I guess I should have mentioned subtlety or maybe playfulness. How discreet you are in being ready to take a step back if you make the other person feel uncomfortable. I mean I've definitely been flirted with in very non-discreet ways. Though we were already familiar with each other than that it would be okay. That's where the response from the other person comes in, I think that is the more important of these two factors. If you received the very non-discreet flirting and had reacted in any kind of negative way, then the other person should have stopped, otherwise they're being a creep. If they didn't know you and didn't have a good idea of how you'd react, then they were taking a gamble on coming across as a creep anyway. The main difference is the feedback. You can be as perverted as you want to be in flirting and get really gross slash kinky with it if the other person loves that and is enjoying you and consenting to the flirtation. Or you can barely say hey, you are beautiful, wanna grab dinner sometime? And be very nice and clean and they could still be like you, you creep. If they don't consent to the flirting or you do it in a weird venue or they just don't find you attractive. So the trick is feedback. Read the fucking room. Read the person. If you get good vibes, start with some very tame and light flirting. Read the room again. Read that feedback from the person, check the vibe. Continue as needed. If you get a bad feedback, just apologize and fuck off like a gentleman. Consent and being able to read the room slash social cues to know what's acceptable. How do you know if they consent without trying first? Does all flirting need to start with may I flirt with you? By consent I mean if someone is indicating through body language or telling you they're not interested in your advances then don't continue doing it. It's not an invitation to push harder, you're going to just come off as creepy if you push past someone's boundaries. I am very bad at reading body language. To the point that I try to just be polite and distant so that I am not expected to. Is that really the only way to approach this? Flirting is heavily dependent on social cues. Think of it like small talk with romantic or sexual undertones. If you're unable to understand social cues then either you'll need to get more practice and study up on how to read people, or flirting probably isn't the best option. Flirting, like small talk, is something that people often enjoy doing but isn't a necessity. You can find other ways to form a connection to someone besides flirting. You can probably find resources online about that. I know this may be very hard to hear, but one of the things that people are looking for in flirting is the ability of the other person to read social cues. You can't get around it. It's fun because it's interactive. People in this thread are giving you instructions like it's a map to the party, and once you're in, it's all good. The joy of flirting is having rapport, an interplay, a pleasant social experience. All is not lost, but to flirt, you need to practice having natural social interactions. You will get better at reading people's reactions, but it takes time. If you go through this thread looking for tips on how to flirt, you're going to be focused on how to follow a list of instructions, not focused on being curious about the person you're engaged with. Trust me, they will notice. You're not going to be focused on whether you're actually enjoying the conversation, which is a critical part of flirting. Plenty of people get so caught up in trying to impress potential partners that they forget you're supposed to be flirting because you enjoy it, not because it's a special mating dance that leads to a date or sex. You can think of flirting almost like playing a game with the other person. The goal is to have fun, and if both you and the other person are enjoying it then it's going well. Perversion is like forcing the other person to play your weird and confusing card game. They're not into it and probably would like to do anything else other than hear you explain the rules again. They keep politely recommending other games, but you keep thinking they'll start to have fun in a couple of minutes if you can just show them the fun part, even though they have no interest in getting that far in the first place. Reading the fucking room. There's a difference between hello, you look nice today and gorgeous tits madam, may I have a quick sniff of your panties? Someone in a committed relationship please use that line on your significant other and report back lol. Just tried it. My husband is now rather confused. Overall I'd say 3 out of 10, got his attention but otherwise very ineffective. If you're the one flirting, there are a lot of basic do's and don'ts that generally apply and appropriate things to talk about based on your level of trust and comfortability with the other person. 
But when it comes down to it, the other person's reaction and perception defines it which you can't accurately predict. And that's scary because you risk being a good part of someone's day or part of the problem. You could be a dude in a 20-year marriage and say, may I have a quick sniff of your panties? And she maybe laughs and is like, let's get to it. Jake Gyllenhaal could say that to a rando at a bar and probably go home with someone that night. But generally if you're at your most haggard and approach someone at a volunteer conference about world famine with a line like that, you're probably going to be thrown out. If you're the one being flirted with, it's really about your values and what you're into and if you're into the other person. Appreciation of the scenario, like, if it's a workplace maybe keep it toned down versus what might fly at a club. Appreciation of the target's response. There's nothing inherently wrong with flirting with someone, provided you're not gratuitously sexual, up until the point where they've indicated they aren't interested. Let's say you're exchanging flirty banter with a colleague in a more casual workplace. You find out later they have a partner, but they still reciprocate and and seem to enjoy your banter. It's mutually understood it's not going anywhere but you both get a little buzz out of joking around and feeling attractive. I'd say no real harm. But if you were in this scenario and your coworker clams up and seems uncomfortable, or starts avoiding you, even though you know they're single, then you should absolutely stop flirting. No ifs ands or buts. Mutual levels of attraction. If you're attractive your actions are considered romantic, even if not reciprocated. If you are unattractive your actions are seen as creepy and stalkerish. Stop this incel crap please, some of the most terrifying people friends of mine have had to deal with are attractive assholes who don't understand what no means. Men and women. Being attractive is great in life, it's not the free pass for all things forever and it doesn't mean you can't be a creepy piece of shit. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of the video by leaving a like or even a dislike. If you want more, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you know when I upload a video. With that being said, have a good day.